to warm up or to not warm up? That's the age old question as temperatures start to drop across the state. I found a lot of reasons to do both on the Internet, but I decided to go to the experts to find the one true answer. Experts like automotive technician Trevor Bowman here at Christian Brothers in Grand Rapids, who actually had a pretty quick answer to my question. Not at all. If it's super cold out, your oil is thicker. And most cars can't filter thick oil. So what happens is when you start your car, the oil starts getting pumped around, but it's too thick to go through the filter. And there's actually a bypass valve, so it'll skip the filter entirely. Cycling that unfiltered oil is not great for your engine. So according to Trevor, the best way to actually warm up your car is to drive it, which, okay, makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Plus you save on gas and you're not just letting that vehicle run. So it seems like we have a pretty quick answer to our question here. But with as much debate about this issue as I've seen online, I figured the answer couldn't be that simple. So I decided to go to another source. And that brings us to automotive technician Mike Nash down here at Tominga's garage. And he told me he lets his car warm up on cold days. I always do. And I believe it's good because one, your fluids, they need to cycle. It's also good for parts because it's hard starting on cars and everything that when, when the weather's cold, parts work harder. So your engine's working harder when it's cold. So when it's warm, it doesn't work as hard. Uh, okay. So just like I was seeing being shouted on the internet, it seems like even the experts have different opinions on this topic, leaving the decision up to you. So a lot of people do it mainly because they like the inside of their cab to be warm and their um, windshields to be defrosted because it's easier to see and it's more comfortable in the vehicle. But I believe it's beneficiary mainly for your fluids. Now, if that is you, don't worry. Even if you do like starting your car for a little bit on cold mornings, letting it warm up for a little while is probably okay. I don't think you're gonna necessarily hurt anything with a couple minutes of sitting there. It's more prolonged idling, like, you know, over 15 minutes, I'd say is probably not great. You end up damaging. Defrost is gonna work better once the vehicle's warmed up, so. And even after all of that, if you still can't make up your mind about what to do on a cold and snowy morning, check out this story on our website, fox17online.com. Reporting from Grand Rapids, Andy Curtis, Fox 17 News.